2024 is already halfway over. Can you guys believe that shit? That's crazy. And what do you guys have to show for it? Do you have a six pack? Do you have a girlfriend? Are people complimenting you on your style every day? Let me guess. No, they're not. You'd be sitting around watching fucking YouTube videos. Isn't that right? Well, at least we know some of those videos are mine, so I'll let it slide this time. But guys, you got six months left to become a stud. What are you doing? Do you think you can get it done? Good news is it's not too late because you can actually achieve a glow up over like a weekend, but to achieve that transformation into Chad status, upper PSL, God, baby, that shit takes at least three months. You're not gonna go from having a kegger to a six pack over a weekend. So let's make peace with that. So let's just get right the into it. So the program is the looks snowball. Some of you may have heard me talk about it before. How it works is this. Well, let me give you a little backstory. We'll rewind real quick. There's this finance guy named Dave Ramsey. Maybe you've seen his thumbnails on YouTube or whatever, but he's worth like 600 million or something. And his method to get people out of horrible financial situations is called the debt snowball. And how it works is you basically define the smallest amount of debt that you have, take care of that, knock it out of the park, and then build up and then do the, and then work your way towards the things that are a bigger investment and more of a hindrance to your financial situation, right? So I saw that, I was like, that's a really dope idea. I'm gonna steal that. So I created the Looks Snowball TM. <laughs> and how this works is you start with the easiest, the quickest ways to get a quick win. You knock that shit out of the park and then you slowly build up the things that are a little bit more of an investment, a little more until eventually you're doing the big things that are a big pain point for you, but you're mercilessly crooking on that shit beating that shit into oblivion until you've destroyed all of your insecurities with ease. Well, it's not going to be super easy, but you know, it's a, it's a term with somewhat ease. So first thing you're going to tackle posture, posture, baby. Most people's posture is dog shit. My posture was dog shit. Yours probably is dog shit. Take a good hard look at yourself. Are you on your phone? Are you slouched over? Is your neck doing this shit? Are you at your laptop hunched over your keyboard or are you one of those rare specimens that has incredible posture where your head is in line with your tailbone at all times looking like a Greek god? No, probably not. Focus on that. That's the first step. Then the next thing, a little bit more of an investment, your hair. Most guys have no idea what the hell they're doing when it comes to hair. Their hairstyle sucks. They're going for this like short crew cut. It's imbalanced with their face shape. It's making their already long face look even longer or their fat face look even fatter. And they're either not even using any products or they're using products that make their hair look greasy or dry and stale, right? They don't know what they're doing. So that's why step number two in the looks snowball is to figure that shit out. I've got multiple videos on this, but I will touch on it a little bit here. First and foremost, you should have a hairstyle that is the opposite shape of your face shape. If you have an elongated face, you want a wider hairstyle. So you're gonna have to grow out the sides. It's gonna take some time, but it's gonna help even that out. I have a longer, more rectangular face, so I have to have hair on the sides. When I have like a side fade and a quiff, I look like and Ernie from Bert and Ernie, or, or is it Bert? I think it's Bert actually. And vice versa, if you have a more shorter, wider face shape and you want to be using hair product, hair product that suits your hairstyle. And that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in. Shout out to Bloomon for sponsoring this video. bloomon has been around for a long time. I've used their products multiple times. I used to use this all the time, but I have never worked with them on a business relationship until now. So this is great. They have an incredible line of products for all hair types. But today we're going to focus on the main thing that sets them apart is their pre-styler. And that's Bloomon Original Meraki. Most hair product companies obsess over the style styling part and they totally disregard the other part of the equation and that's pre-styling. Applying a pre-styler adds a ton of volume, texture, and definition to your hair before you even get to the styling part. It's like a shortcut to an epic hairstyle. It's like pre-gaming before the party, baby. Greasing the engine before you mow the lawn. I don't know, <laughs> but it'll make a massive difference in your final hairstyle. How you use it is you just take about a dime sized scoop. After the shower, when your hair is still damp, you emulsify it between your hands and then rake it fully through your hair, trying to get every hair strand possible. And then you go ahead and blow dry your hair like you normally would. And the other product that I really wanted to touch on is Bloom on Rebound. 
curl defining cream i know a lot of my guys out there watching have curly hair and it tends to be kind of frizzy and unkempt i'm kind of dealing with that with my hair transplant so i've been using the curl defining cream which helps for that texture of hair so you would just squeeze out like a quarter size squirt and then emulsify it between your hands and just like the pre-style rake it through your hair applying it to damp hair out of the shower or whatever and then the best method is to blow dry with a diffuser to lock in those curls or for extra frizzy hair it's best paired with cloud control oil for enhanced hydration and then after that you style it as you would i use blue mons original meraki yes guys it's a pre-styler and a post styler with high hold and natural finish so it's just a great all-around product suitable for most hairstyles and textures so guys you know how it works i got a deal so that means you guys get a deal too so if you want to try blue mon original or rebound click the link in the description or any of their other products click the link in the description use my code brett for 10 percent off of your purchase great products been using them for years so once you got your hair figured out that's number two it might take some investment to make might take some time the investment is money into the products right you might have to get a blow dryer and shit like this and also time you might have to wait out start from scratch if you got uneven hair you might have to shave that shit and start from a totally even well i guess you could just get a, a skilled barber to give you like an even cut but hey okay some people got to start from scratch man i like to do that sometimes anyways you might have to grow your hair out longer than you've ever had it before i have videos on this how to pick a hairstyle for your face shape don't go watch it now finish this video but watch it afterwards oh wait i got ahead of myself guys Sorry, the next thing that you do after your posture is style because style is something that you don't have to wait to grow out your hair or, you know, fix your skin or anything like this. You can go online right now, go create a Pinterest board on Pinterest, start liking styles that you resonate with, you think would maybe look good on you and like vibe with your character on the inside because that's all what this shit is, guys. Show who you are on the inside outside. So go start liking some it, create Pinterest boards and then the algorithm will start feeding you more styles like that. You can hover over the clothing and it'll show you links on the side to basically the exact type of clothing that you're looking at, right? You could click that and go buy. You could buy a whole new wardrobe over a weekend. It'll be here by early next week, right? You could look like a completely different person, a more badass, more mature, respectable person. And this is like the easiest shit you could ever do. The problem is most people are too scared, too nervous to put themselves out there like that they think they have to abide by what their family and their friends think of them oh johnny he's this type of guy F all that be who you want to be that's what life is all about you get one spin around this thing one turn might as well be who the fuck you want to be so that's number two tackle your style and then you go into the hair hair is the next biggest investment right we talked about that though next skincare skincare is one of the biggest indications of health and virility if you have acne even if it's adolescent acne you you know you're a teenager or whatever as much as it sucks and as much as people are usually pretty understanding you subconsciously kind of look at them and think oh, they're, they're a little dirty or they're maybe not the healthiest person i remember when i had that childhood acne i had it from the age 15 to 22 i thought that shit would never go away i tried to convince myself so much that like no one saw it they would look past it but even i couldn't convince myself of that and i'm a convincing mother right i could tell that people looked at me just a little bit differently especially if they didn't know me truly it was seven years of this shit so that's the next thing tackle that if it's hormonal you're a kid do the best you can with a skincare regimen topical treatments stuff like this but if it's severe like cystic acne maybe consider going on something like tretinoin or isotretinoin also known as Accutane, but this does not come without its potential side effects. So make sure you go visit a dermatologist before taking steps like this. And last thing, you know what it is. This is the biggest investment of all. I don't have to tell you, it's no secret. It's your physique, your body. If you're walking around with a fat gut all this other shit is like somewhat meaningless, right? You want respect from others, so why don't you respect yourself? This is the ultimate sign of respect. If you respect yourself to have the discipline to go in there and pound the rock, turn that kegger into a six pack, get some veins popping out of your arms, almost any style will look good on you. You'll shed that fat.
face fat, your jawline will start ripping out. The effect that this will have on your confidence in all realms is unbelievable. Obviously, this can't be done in a weekend. It takes time, little by little, chipping away a pound and a half of fat per week. You can also gain up to two pounds of muscle per month if you're actually going hard. That's why this is the ultimate investment. It's not easy. It's not for the weak, but it's for the best. You see, all of this obviously is going to have a drastic effect on your outside appearance. Little by little, you're stacking these wins. Objectively, it makes sense. It's like a math calculation. Yeah, cool. If I do this and this, it'll make me look better. But the real magic, the real sauce is in the confidence boost that it gives you. The man that you become when you're doing this shit, you stack a win upon each other. You think confidence comes out of the ether, just falls and is blessed upon random individuals? No, they fucking earn that shit. It's when you hold yourself accountable, you have that discipline. You know, today I need to do these tasks. Anxiety and depression doesn't come from random variables just hitting you out of the blue. Anxiety comes from inaction. You disrespecting and ignoring your conscience. You're getting feedback notifications all day long telling you to do this. Film that video. I almost didn't film this video today. I would have felt anxiety after this shit. I would have been kind of depressed this evening because now I got to get up and rush and do this shit tomorrow morning and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my editor be behind a day. Everything's going to be fucked. Confidence comes from listening to your conscience and and doing what it's telling you to do. That is the divine voice of God. Whatever God you believe in, I believe in the universal God, as in our God is the universe and life itself. And those little notifications you hear telling you to do this or do that, that is what's truly meant to be. And when you disrespect that, you spit in its face, that is when you're punished with anxieties, depressions, a horrible physique, a horrible negative attitude. It's a compounding result of every misstep and step back that you take throughout your day. So take no steps back, take only steps forward. How do you know what's a step forward? You listen to that consciousness and do what the fuck it says day after day. This is how you gain confidence. Not all this little bullshit. Yeah, it helps. Yeah, it helps to fix your posture, fix your style, fix your physique and all that. That's objectively true. But where the true, real, undeniable magnetic presence and attractiveness comes from is that true, pure confidence that cannot be shaken for any reason at all, no matter who it is. So take the first step, fix your posture, take a good hard look at yourself in the mirror. What do you look like? Is your head in line with your tailbone, your shoulders back and down? Without exception, you all look at yourself and say, mm -mm, nah, fix that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe. Till next time. Peace.